Detective Jameson reporting with Detective Gallo. Time is 4 p.m. February 29th. Uh, no suspicious activity yet. Source says a deal is supposed to be taking place this morning. We'll continue to watch. Over. They won't respond. They never do. I have to at least report it. They might say something. Think about this logically. The crime rate has risen to 53% over the last two years, and we have almost every officer on patrol, all of which are probably only checking in on the hour. There's no way that they can respond to each call. I guess that makes sense. They probably only respond to, like, emergency calls. So, what are we looking for again? I can't focus after sitting here for four hours. All the source says that a deal is supposed to be happening today, and it's possibly the largest one this year. Suspects? Marcus Buckler. No way. Yeah. Um, after the damage dealt to his group last month, all of his men are either on the run or in jail now. And that just leaves him to run the business. Precisely. Now, recent activity shows that Buckler has been um, making larger and larger deals, and that means one of two things. Either one, he's getting cocky, or two, he's trying to sell and skip town. With the recent arrest of his own men, he's likely to be trying to leave. Exactly. We believe he's trying to get rid of everything in this final deal. And then he'd be free to leave and we'd never see him again. But we're not going to let that happen. Suppose he doesn't show. What if we miss the deal? Look, here comes someone now. That's got to be a buyer. How do you know? This is a parking deck. They might be just heading to their dorms. Who stays at college for spring break? <laughs> no one. Everyone goes out to party. Looks like our suspects had a different kind of party in mind. So how do you want to do this? Should we do the good cop, bad cop routine? Um, do you want to just go all out? Let's go I mean, all out. I think they deserve it. So why'd you do it? Because I felt like it. I just wanted some drugs. Yeah. I needed to get high. Do you even know what this stuff does to you? Not exactly. Feels good. This is what Mark used to look like. Now, he's 6'13", 
His hair is brown when he used to be black. Uh, we're not actually sure what color his eyes are because it changes your eyes. Um, we think they're pretty or charming though because, I mean, he still is making drug deals. He has no more teeth. He has multiple personality syndromes, so he has 20 different aliases. We can't keep track of any of them. He has lots of gold chains. We don't know what possesses him to buy these, but he does. And we're very afraid that he can now breathe fire. Alright, well, uh, now that we know a little bit about what it does to you, what I want to talk about last night. You two went to buy drugs from Marcus, right? Yes. yes. Alright, so you know that he escaped. Yes. Um, so I'm going to be blunt about this and ask you, where is he? He's a big head. We heard he had another deal. Well, that was easy. Yeah, I didn't think they help us so fast. Why are you so willing to help? Like Less time? Yeah. We can try and work out a deal where, uh, I don't know, maybe you don't go to jail for life? Um, well, do you know where this, this deal is going to take place? One of his guys brought me a set of mattress for... Do you know what day? Either Tuesday or Thursday. Thank <laughs> you. 